Ionic compounds with three or more elements contain polyatomic ions. We'll show you how to write the formulas for compounds with polyatomic ions. A polyatomic ion is a group of atoms that bond together and stays together to act like a single unit. The whole ion has a net charge. In the example shown here, there is one nitrogen atom and three oxygen atoms, and the ion has a charge of negative one. So the formula is NO3 minus. The name of this polyatomic ion is nitrate. Here is a table that contains the formulas and charges of the ions we'll be using in this course. The polyatomic ions are the ones with more than one element. In this table, they are shaded. The other ions on here are not polyatomic. They are ions of single elements. Polyatomic ions are easy to recognize because the formula always has more than one capital letter. For example, the hydroxide ion is polyatomic because it has a capital O and a capital H. You will always be able to use a table like this when you're writing formulas or names for ionic compounds. The only positive polyatomic ion we'll be using is ammonium with the formula NH4+. All of the negative polyatomic ions are shaded in pink. You can see there are quite a few of these. If you look at the names of these, you can see that many of them end in ATE, like acetate, carbonate, and nitrate. A few of them end in ITE, or ITE, like chlorite, hypochlorite, and nitrite. And three polyatomic ions have names ending in IDE, cyanide, bisulfide, and hydroxide. The other ions whose names end in IDE on this table are not polyatomic ions. They are ions of a single element, like bromide, chloride, etc. Notice that four of the polyatomic ions have two possible names, separated by a comma. Either name can be used. For example, HCO3- can be called hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate. We're asked to write the formula for barium chlorate. Looking at barium on the periodic table, we see that it forms a Ba2 plus ion. Chlorate is a polyatomic ion on the ion table. Its formula is ClO3 with a negative 1 charge. With one barium and one chlorate ion, the total positive charge is positive 2, and the total negative charge is negative 1. The charges are not balanced. They do not add up to 0. So we add one more chlorate ion. And the total negative charge is now negative 2. And now the charges are balanced. There is one Ba ion and two chlorate ions. The subscript 2 here, to the right of the ClO3, means there are two chlorate ions in the formula. Whenever a subscript refers to a polyatomic ion, brackets must be drawn around the polyatomic ion, like this. And now we have the final formula for barium chlorate, Ba, ClO3 in brackets, 2. The formula tells us that the compound barium chlorate has one barium ion and two chlorate ions.